signatures were affixed on Thursday to the $17.2 million OECS Regional Tourism Competitiveness Project contract document between the government of Grenada and the joint venture of Kichana Limited, Sunrise Construction Inc. and JVC for infrastructural works on the restoration of Fort George. The sign-in was held at the Ministry of Tourism Conference Room at the Ministerial Complex. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Infrastructure and Physical Development, Public Utilities, Civil Aviation and Transportation, Michael Stephen, signed on behalf of the government, while Desmond John of Sunrise Construction signed on behalf of the joint ventures that includes Keychona Limited, Out of Trinidad and JVC Inc. Permanent Secretary Stephen says the rehabilitation of Fort George is a significant step towards enhancing one of the country's main tourism attraction sites in the town of St. George. This project is it's extremely important, as I would mention, have mentioned before. It's valued at some $17.2 million, and um, it's supposed to um, have a duration of 18 months, I, I believe. Right? Um, it's going to impact significantly uh, the tourism product and also the general population in, in general. So I, I want to congratulate um, the joint venture between Sunrise Construction and Keith Chanuna, Chanuna. Chanuna of Trinidad for um, being awarded this contract. And um, we look forward to them executing the project according to the specifications and designs and uh, within time and within budget. Speaking on behalf of the Joint Ventures Group, Desmond John of Sunrise Construction says his team has been studying the document for the past two years and as a result understands the responsibility, the details and the challenges that may arise in executing the job. I can say publicly that we are well prepared and aware and we are conscious of what the challenges are and we have put systems in place to deal with it. One of the uh, requirements was to have a relationship with a restoration company. So we actually built a tripartite relationship between Kitchenota from Trinidad, Sunrise Construction from Grenada, and CPEC from Argentina, who was specialized in restoration and have restoration history as part of their pre-qualification. They have all visited Grenada, we have looked at the site, we have developed our schedules and our programs, and I can promise the nation that we are well paused to deliver a successful project within time and on budget. The project is broken up into five components to allow for a phased approach to the restoration process and allow for the relocation of offices that are housed at the RGPF headquarters. Luke Braffitt, Quantity Surveyor with Sunrise Construction Inc. explains. The demolition and removal of modern interventions or aspects or features on the foot that were not or would not have been there um, from you know the conception or the initial uh, construction of the foot, the consolidation and recovery of the main walls or the stone walls uh, that, you know, uh, form the perimeter of the foot, um, the rehabilitation and new construction of buildings on the foot. Um, there are a number of, you know, key buildings that form not just, not, not, not of just historical value, but of also cultural value with a more modern history um, in Grenada's you know, development. Um, urban planning, so that would be the construction of walkways and embankments and so, and new utilities development, which would be modern features which will be hidden within the fort to you know, give it some sort of modern for communication and so. The restoration works at Fort George is expected to be completed in 18 months.